Hey guys, this is Tutorials Master again, and this is my last tutorial of the day. This one is just a walkthrough of how to use Feed for All, and Feed for All and Feed Editor very similar, same process, but I like Feed for All better. So anyway, using the evaluation version, I haven't bought it yet. So go to Feed Wizard, and next. And I'm creating, um, I'm going to create an iTunes podcast, so iTunes. Next, create a title. This is just an example. Description, anything, I'm just going to do it. Just make a, a link that, um, your podcast will be, uh, posted on, all the information. So after, um, this is just an example website, it's not really a real website. Click next. Um, I just I the subtitle I usually keep it the same, so I just do copy from feed title. Summary I copy from the description, and then the image for your podcast, like uh, the image you want. I post my image to my MySpace and then copy the thing, and uh, that's my image. And I'll just make an example. Okay, now after you've done doing that, click next. Um, again, that was an example. And then the category. Now, this has to be, you can't pick any category. It has to be an iTunes category. So just choose one. I'm probably going to choose TV and film or comedy, but I'll just use TV and film. Add it. Click OK. Now click Next. And then type in the keywords. And this will help you when you search on the iTunes. When you search um, the on the iTunes, um, it'll show up. So think of as many words as you can to help you, people find it if you want it viewed a lot. So I'll just put example. Okay, after you're done, click next, and then choose the author. You can choose your name. Um, this is the uh, this is what your your name is going to be for the iTunes. So like um, basically the owner like. The Joe Cartoon thing on iTunes, those are pretty funny. Joe Cartoon is the owner of a bunch of uh, animations, cartoons. So that would be the name, but you can just put anything like your, like your, n that doesn't even have to be your name. It can be, uh, I don't know, um, it can be anything. So I'll just put an example. Okay, that's my little sign off that I have for my comments, Tutmaster. And click next. And now it's your name. This doesn't show up in your iTunes store, but put your real name and your real email address. This is just an example name. Of course, my name's now blah blah. And your email. Okay, after that, you click next. And then copyright. There's a, a symbol, I forget what it is, it's like alt. 0169 or something it I don't know what it is it's like creates the little copyright sign Yeah yeah I was right it was that one so alt 0169 is the copyright sign and then just uh then type in your company and then just put the year I guess you don't have to put that now after that click the language Mine's in English. Now this is English, universal English. Um, but when I talk, I do not do all universal. I use uh, American English. So United States and U.S. Okay, click next, and then add an item, which your item is your video or your audio. So the title. Okay, that's the title description okay after that click next the link for your video now of course you have to host the video on a website and you can host it on your website um, but you're gonna need bandwidth for your website I put it to a file hosting website that's what I do because my website's a free webs website and um, I don't want to pay for bandwidth so I just open I just load it with to a file hosting website yeah and um the video for your um, um video has to be a iTunes or a um quick time format 
So any type of QuickTime format, and then the URL. I this is this. I put the same thing as uh, the same thing as the item link. Just the same thing. So I just put the same thing. Then just do a length, and it'll automatically uh, tell you the uh, extension. And it has to be um, so. Like if I put by if I do this. If I put AVI and click next, hold on. And I click next, it'll tell you that the only files accepted are M4A, MP3, MOV, MP4, M4V, or PDF. And so that and so that's why uh, it has to be a QuickTime format. So change it to that, and it'll automatically update this. Click next subtitle same thing as the title summary I just put the same as the description the duration is how long your video is okay keywords again it's what people will search for to find it on iTunes so just whatever separated by commas okay um, after you're done click next the author once again just put it the same as what you put before example that's not my name then you're done now when you click uh now when you click finish um you finish it now it says your feed has been created you want to save it now and yes so now you save it to a spot this will ever load okay it saves it as an x as an xml file and um i have a folder called podcast podcast creation so just save it whatever you want Okay, it's save. Make sure it says XML, or else it will not um, work when you're posting with iTunes. Click OK. Now, um, make sure you go click this little check mark, validate feed, or you can go to um, you can go to Tools and validate. Same thing. And then it says the feed is valid. If the feed's not valid, like one of the fields are wrong or something, it'll tell you. So after that. Um, it tells you everything, and yeah, so yeah, after you're done with that, um, that's pretty much all. So after that, go to iTunes, the iTunes store. Now iTunes, you know, works with Mac and Windows both. Okay, go to podcasts. Now, there should be a button right here that says submit a podcast, but if there's not, just go all the way down to the bottom and under learn more there is submit a podcast so click that now your podcast feed URL now mine of course is not gonna work um... okay um... this is actually not my feed this is uh... effects master ones in JJ Cole's feed I'm pr um... I don't know how I found out about this I, their podcast is not even on iTunes yet but this is the uh, RSS feed I found. So now you just copy link location and paste it in here. Now this is probably already in use because it's they've probably already posted it. And like I said, it takes a couple days for them to validate it. Click continue, and this will probably say podcast already in use. Yeah, it as appears that the feed has already been submitted. Yes, it has, because this is not mine. Um, I just didn't take. I want to take the time to post a uh, podcast um, on a website. And um, for all you people watching, Effects Master and JJ Cole, uh, check out their YouTube accounts. They are awesome people. Um, I've got in touch with JJ um, C U L. Don't know how to pronounce it. I've got in touch with him a bunch. And Effects Master, he's got pretty cool videos. So go check them out. Um, it's pretty cool. And um, I'm not trying to get you to subscribe to them, but just go check them out. They're pretty cool people. And um, yeah. So in their website, it's freewebs.com slash JJ Cole. Um, of course, I guess they're not paying for their web domain. <laughs> so uh, yeah. So go check out their website. And uh, yeah, they look pretty cool people. You can already tell one of them can do pretty cool effects. Or maybe they pay someone to do it. I don't know. But yeah. So go check those guys out. They are awesome people. I'll have a link in the description for their YouTube pages.